Hello guys, welcome back to Toy Friendly Unbox where we feature the hottest toys in the market today. And uh, right now we're gonna be featuring McFarlane Toys set, Dark Knight's Death Metal Batman along with the Death Metal Cycle. And uh, again, this is from McFarlane Toys, so I can't wait to show this to you. And here we go. And hello guys, welcome back to our show. So we are now going to be featuring this again long overdue review of McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Death Metal Batman and the corresponding motorbike or the bat cycle that is also from the Death Metal series. And uh, I don't know if you can remember, we already reviewed a version of this, the one with the guitar, which is also a death metal Batman. But this time, as you can see, he's carrying a scythe, a metal scythe right there. The good thing about McFarlane toys uh, is that you can already see what uh, you are going to be uh, getting because of the packaging they have all they all have windows and uh, you know, already have an idea of what's inside so this is the packaging for the death metal for Batman and uh, at the back we see an illustration I think this is done by David Finch if I'm not mistaken so Batman death metal Batman with the riding a the the death metal bat cycle which is an awesome illustration at the back and also you get all uh, a glimpse of uh, some of the trading cards that are available so this is the back we get the McFarlane Toys logo and social media logos as well and credits at the bottom at the side, typical Batman, Dark Knight's Death Metal uh, signage there with the Death Metal logo from the comic books. And that is the Death Metal Batman. Let's take a look at the packaging for the bike. So this is the Bat Cycle and um, if you notice, it's also customized to look like uh, the remains with the fossil of a large gigantic bat and uh, we get a glimpse of this exclusive trading card back there so they go hand in hand this bat cycle with the Batman figure and at the back of the packaging yes we get a closer look at the trading card illustration that's pretty cool so let's open them up and uh, let's see how they look together so as we opened up the packaging we get to have this uh, very cool McFarlane toy Batman death metal Batman style with the scythe and also this very cool looking bat cycle that is obviously made out of uh, you know fossilized remains of a giant bat so let's take a look at the Batman figure first so I don't know if you noticed anything if you're a fan of uh, 90s wrestling maybe this one reminds you of uh, the Undertaker's costume or outfit back in the 90s maybe they were inspired by that I don't know but uh, this one looks very cool again we reviewed a version of this before uh, the one where he is in the same pretty much the same outfit but uh, 
he's holding a guitar it's like a guitarist for a rock band death metal band but this time he's holding this uh, scythe so he kind of looks like a grim reaper here which is again similar to the undertaker's persona so one thing you can count on with any McFarlane toy is its attention to detail. Look at that. Look at the spikes, the trench coat with the buckles, belt buckles, and the straps. And uh, this Death Metal Batman is accessorized by these uh, bat-like accents all over with the belt and the uh, combination of the skull and chains very cool looking so very noticeable also is the absence of the long spiky ears this one uh, this one has the shorter ears but still very cool looking course we get to have this base and what, one thing that's criticized mostly with the McFarlane toys I believe is the is the base which is kind of light maybe they, they should make this a little bit heavier so that it could really support any type of uh, figure especially the larger ones and the heavier ones so that's kind of like uh, one of my gripes about McFarlane toys but other than that uh, the quality is exceptional definitely and look at that even the back it's consistent with the uh, with the persona or the design for Batman with the bat like uh, wings and now we go to this uh, bat cycle which is very very cool and the texture is on point look at that look at the amount of detail involved in this one the fossilized remains of a giant bat and uh, the texture is definitely one of its highlights and look at the wheel it also has the that insignia from the smaller one for, uh, on the spoke and uh, on the wheel itself there's this huge uh, bat insignia and uh, let's take a look at the other side Look at the details uh, inside the ear. It's very a lot of research has gone into making this one. But of course, this is also based on the comic books. So, if you're a fan of DC Comics and the Death Metal series, you'll be you won't be surprised how this uh, one turned out. And again, kudos to the staff and of course Todd McFarlane for being meticulous with the quality of uh, the figures so we get to have all of these quality quality products from McFarlane toys so we also get to have uh, these exclusive trading cards with the death metal batman riding the uh, death metal bat cycle and uh, here's another one so let's put it together and let's see how Batman rides this bat cycle. And there you go guys, here is Death Metal Batman uh, riding his bat cycle, which is also a perfect fit. A winner from McFarlane Toys, look at that, the details. Definitely a must-have if you're collecting the whole line of uh, death metal, the death metal series, and also the metal Batman series from McFarlane Toys. 
and uh, there you have it this is Dark Knight's death metal combination of uh, the Bat Cycle and the death metal Batman from the one and only McFarlane Toys Company guys this is the death metal batman with the bat cycle by mcfarland toys this is a collector's item especially a uh, must have for all you mcfarland toys collectors out there so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for announcements of future unboxing episodes and other fun stuff also if you want to buy toys like these please visit our facebook page which is uh, www.facebook.com slash toyfriendly and again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next unboxing episode